Hello everyone, it's Julie here from Vancouver Island Regional Library, uh, our Nanaimo North Branch, and I am here to do another story time with you. So welcome, I'm so glad you could join us. Shall we start with our welcome song? I like to do hello everybody and clap your hands. Um, so if you haven't done this one before, it's got a few actions. We're going to clap our hands, we are going to wiggle our fingers, we're going to pat our heads, and then we're going to pretend to read a book. Okay? And it goes like this. Hello everybody and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello everybody and clap your hands, clap your hands today. Hello everybody and wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers. Hello everybody and wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers today. Hello everybody and pat your head, pat your head, pat your head. Hello everybody and pat your head, pat your head today. And hello everybody and read a book. Read a book, read a book. Hello everybody and read a book, read a book today. Fantastic. I hope you all did that one with me at home. That would be wonderful. All right. So what are we going to do in story time today? Well, story time today is all about a particular animal. It's about an animal that has a long trunk and big floppy ears and big feet, and this animal is gray. Does anybody know what animal that is? That's right, it's all about elephants today. I wonder how many of you have seen an elephant before. Maybe in person, maybe you've seen it on TV, or on your computer, or on your phone. Yeah, yeah, they're really big animals, aren't they? Um, so the book I want to read for you today is called Elephants Do Not Belong in Trees by Russ Willems. I don't know. Have you ever seen an elephant in a tree? No, me neither. They definitely do not belong in trees. <laughs> and this book um, is published by Orca Book Publishers. All right, so let's give this one a read and see what is this elephant doing in the tree? Look at the other animals' faces. They look a little bit surprised, don't they? A little bit shocked. <laughs> okay, here we go. There once was a big bushy tree with a big fat trunk, which sat quietly in the middle of a wide open meadow. Many animals made this tree their home. What animals can you see in the tree? I see a bird. And a monkey, and what's this down here? Squirrel, and what is this? Oh no. Wait a second, not an elephant. I was talking about birds, squirrels, and monkeys. Definitely, absolutely, and certainly not an elephant. Elephants do not belong in trees. Elephants are humongous, and they weigh a ton. This is my new home, said Larry. <laughs> Look at his happy face. I love living in this tree. The view is beautiful. The nuts are delicious, and it just feels like the perfect place for me. But bird wanted to nest in the tree. Squirrel wanted to store nuts in the tree. And monkey wanted to swing in the tree. Boing, boing, boing. Elephants do not belong in trees. Look what happened. Poor monkey was swinging, and what happened? Ran straight into the elephant. Oh no. <laughs> Bird pecked elephant. A little to the left, please. Squirrel threw nuts at elephant. Nice curve. Show me your fastball. Monkey swung from elephant's tail. Want to go higher? Just then, they heard one 
ginormous vroom rumble 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 what do you think is coming let's find out hey what's that shouted larry an earthquake chirped bird a hippo stampede chattered squirrel a rocket ship squeaked monkey can you see what it is yikes it's a giant bulldozer and it's going to take down our tree this cannot be good oh no this is my home hold on elephant chirped bird We've got this, chattered squirrel. This is our home, squeaked monkey. Bird, squirrel, and monkey sprang into action. Can you see what they're doing? What's bird doing? Maybe a bit of pecking there. Squirrel's throwing some acorns, it looks like. And monkey, well, monkey looks like he has his tongue out. <laughs> this, chirped bird, is not, chattered squirrel, working, squeaked monkey. Meanwhile, slurp, gurgle, blurgle. Sploosh! You will not, cannot take down our tree, said Larry. Close call, said Larry. Your trunk is awesome, chirped Bird. So now, this big bushy tree with a big fat trunk, which sits quietly in the middle of the wide open meadow, is home to a bird a squirrel, a monkey, and one happy Larry. Looks like elephants definitely, absolutely, and certainly do belong in trees. Excuse me, lovely home you have here. Is there room for me? <laughs> what do you think? Is there room for the giraffe too? <laughs> that would make a good story too. I wonder what the giraffe would do in the tree. So there we go. That was our book for today. Elephants Do Not Belong in Trees by Russ Willems. So I hope you enjoyed that one. All right, let me put that book down. And I think today I would like to do something on the felt board. Because what I have over here is I have an elephant. And some of you might know the song I'm going to do with this elephant. And if you do know it, you can sing along at home. And if you don't know it, once I've sung it once, I bet you will know it and then you can you can help, okay? So it goes like this. One elephant went out to play on a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. You ready to help me with this? You have to call for the elephant. The elephant might be far, far away. Elephant! And we hear the footsteps of the elephant coming. And what do we get? We got another elephant, yay! How many elephants now? One, two. Two elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Here we go. Elephant! Can you hear him coming? Here it comes. And, yep, here we go. 
Another elephant. Oh my goodness. Where should I put this one? Maybe down here. How many elephants do we have now? One, two, three. Three elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Elephant! And here they come. Oh, this one looks slightly smaller. Maybe this one's a baby elephant. There we go, we got another elephant. Put that one there. How many elephants do we have now? One two, three, four. Four elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Elephant! Oh, and yeah! Another elephant came, yay! Put that one on the board too. How many elephants do we have now? One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Elephant! Oh no, everything is silent. All the elephants are already there. No more elephants to come and play. Nope. So we can sing it slightly different for that last bit. We can go, Five elephants went out to play On a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun so they called for another elephant to come. But there were no more elephants left to come. <laughs> That's all right. Five elephants is a lot, isn't it? They look like happy elephants. All right. That's all I have for you today. So I think we'll sing our goodbye song. Maybe one of my elephants wants to sing the goodbye song with me. Here we go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye.